about time. What's going on? Yeah. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Jay-Z's Marcy Venture Partners has now joined the NFT world. They have joined a $19 million funding round for NFT platform Bitski. So just giving you all that information. Um, and that's going to allow mainstream brands and celebs to bypass the crypto complexity of early marketplaces to give customers like early partner Adidas an on-ramp to the NFT world that is more approachable. Everybody's trying to understand all this stuff, NFTs and crypto complexities and mm -hmm. but they're saying it's going to be like the Shopify for NFT so it'll be a platform where brands, game developers and consumers can create, buy and sell digital goods. So it's a social platform for NFTs basically. I think more like an e-commerce mm. platform. You can buy the NFT. Oh, so you can go there to buy and sell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You know, kind of like Shopify, I guess probably kind of also like um that makes StockX. Sense type of thing. Okay. And also, Jay-Z's S. Carter and Enterprises has filed a new trademark for a production company. And yes, so I guess it's too early to tell, but they're, they're saying this move suggests that he's laying down that foundation to do some more TV and film. Mm -hmm. All right, now Little Baby has posted a release date for his collab album with Little Dirk, but then he deleted it right away. He posted, how does Voice of the Hero sound dropping May 28th? But then he deleted it. So maybe that's coming. I'm here for that. That's, yeah, that's in a couple of weeks. I really love All that right. Khaled and uh, that Khaled that record that Dirk and uh, Baby got on the Khaled album. That's that's to me that's the hardest song on the album. Yeah, that is. The and Mariah song on the album. Carey, people thought she was not happy with this singer, a rapper singer YTK, who did his own version of "Shake It Off" and listen to what his sounds like. Let it off. That sounds kind of hard. I like gunfire. it. Yeah, but y'all yeah, got to really like be careful playing them records because them kids really be making records about people that they be um actually killing. Yeah, mm -hmm. so they do. I They're even, very I brutal. I wouldn't even play that on there just now. I don't know who that record about. All right. Well, Mariah. They wrote Mariah Carey has 24 hours to respond, and then she wrote, "How about y'all have 24 hours to respond to my lawyers?" Mm. Well, apparently behind the scenes, though, the A&R responded. The A&R executive, uh, Tommy, said, I want to reiterate, Mariah was joking. Please stop saying rude-ish to her. She told the same joke to Questlove hours before she responded to the tweet and put us in contact with the people who can help us clear it. So it's not a problem on her end. All right. So for everybody that thought she was serious when she said her lawyers are on it, she was just kidding. All right, now Swiss Beats did a sit-down interview with Angie Martinez, and amongst the things he talked about was the fact that DMX was working on some new music and on an album. X was really in a good mood after doing Versus. You know, when he did really? Versus, yeah, he got back in the music space. Like, he really got excited because he was able to see the love that the youth had for him, and he just, we didn't leave L.A. Like, we stayed there and, and, and finished the album at Snoop Studio, like, from Versus. He was saying that, I just want to get some new music out so I can contribute to this new energy that I'm feeling. So do you have a whole album? I wouldn't even call it an album. I, I would definitely call it a masterpiece. Mm. Wow. That'll be interesting to hear. Now, in addition, he talked about DMX wanting to get his health together. We was in album mode, so we just was coming out of album mode. Then we was going to get into fitness mode. You know, he gained a little bit of weight due to him actually being sober and, 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 and moving in a different direction, which this whole thing was a big mess for me because he was there, you know, he was in the right space. Mm -hmm. He was motivated to get with, with the trainer. Um, he was actually calling me like, man, like as soon as I get back, let's get to let's, um, this trainer set up. I'm like, yeah, like, we going to go. Damn, man. That's horrible. But hey, you know what they said? They said, if you know, you want to hear God laugh, make plans. So sometimes your good plan is not the plan God has for you. Right. That's all. All right, now let's discuss Saweetie. You saw people were making fun of her over the weekend. She was performing on the pier in Santa Monica, and, you know, there was, like, a bucket there for money, so people, and she was being funny, like, all right, rent's due. So she is clearing up what actually happened, right? Because the way it looked on the video clip was, like, she was out there, there was, and they zoomed in on the little bucket for money, and it wasn't like it was packed out there, but here's what she said actually happened. No, girl, I was not asking for no money yesterday. Actually, like, I know I said rent is due, blah, blah, blah. But actually, yesterday was a spur in the moment. It was fun. We were at the Santa Monica Pier, and I saw this upcoming artist. He was, like, singing with this microphone. And I was like, you know what? I got a new single, so I'm going to just, you know, perform for my fans because I love them so much. And 
A couple people noticed me, so then I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to get on the mic real quick. Life is so much more fun when you don't have to explain your every freaking <laughs> I know. move. I know. Like, why does she feel the need to have to explain that to people? Who cares? Because social media was like, oh, she's broke. Man. She's standing there performing. But we know it yeah, was stop a let, joke. Stop like, letting social media drive y'all crazy. Stop reacting to everything people say on social media. Please. My God. Uh, it looked like she was doing an interview. They asked her about it, and she answered it. Oh, you didn't say that. I thought she just, I thought she just, I thought she just gave it up. That was different. She, you didn't say that part. Yeah, so, you know, she had explained what happened. All right, well, that is... And then you know what? No matter what happens, as soon as you do an interview, people are going to ask you about it, right? Yeah, but she's doing an interview. I thought she I thought she just did something well, which she knew was a joke, and then everybody had something to say, so then she explained herself. That's different. But, yeah, if she was doing an interview, that's different. All right, well, that is your rumor report. All right, she said she was on live, and people people asked in the comments, so she was on live, and people uh. were asking in the comments. All right. Up, up next is the People's Choice Mix. Get your request in right now. Revolt. We'll see you tomorrow. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.